let's see, is it recording? Okay guys and gals, I really wanted to give y'all a shout out and say thanks for all the likes and subscribes and views and stuff. I hit 1,000 subscribers last week, which is a really big deal to me because I don't post a whole lot and I don't do clickbait stuff really at all. And uh, it's just, you know, fortune stuff. It's stuff I like doing and a vlog here and there. So I just want to say thanks and I hope y'all enjoy this video. This is kind of a present to myself um, for hitting the 1,000 mark. So got a couple more things in the pipeline coming and stuff. But yeah, this video is going to be about what I ended up buy, uh, buying myself and putting on the truck for hitting that 1,000. So again, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Keep it up and uh, hopefully we'll see more cool mods in the future. Maybe when I hit like five or 10,000. We'll jump the truck or do something crazy. So anyways, just want to give y'all a shout out, say thanks, and uh, hope you like this video. So stopping a quick trip here, and I see that new uh, Ford F-150 electric. Man, I didn't know they already had those out. Dude's up here getting some hummus or, uh, I don't know, kale, whatever it is those guys are going to eat. I'm just playing. I think it's innovative and cool. But uh, I think electric has a long ways to go before it's a viable option so anyways that's your morning dad joke y'all are welcome here quick trip gotta give me something and then uh yeah we'll show you all the new additions to that also shout out to these candy apple crisp bangs i know they're probably not the best thing in the world for you but they taste like those caramel apple like green and brown suckers I used to have as a kid oh my god they're so good so hot tip try those Okay, y'all saw what they are. Got a little caffeine, a little more awake now. So, um, they are a hostile Reaper. I think the model number is H122. They are a 20 by 10, negative 19 in matte black. They call it matte black, but you can see the finish is more like a satin, so stuff doesn't really stick to it. They've got one milled part on there. They've got that, which I might black that out. I don't know. So, to be honest with you, I'm usually not a huge all black aftermarket wheel fan. Like the OEM all black wheels look okay. A lot of the aftermarket black wheels, in my opinion, look cheap when they aren't black and milled. Uh, these aren't the case. So, I really like this design because they've got a nice, like if you guys remember, I had the Hostel Sprockets, which had that kind of twisted center area. And then it's got, I like how it has these. It's almost like a off-road look. So I think they're a real good mix between a classier, like a sportier looking wheel and an off-road wheel. Um, Hostel makes awesome wheels, man. They are not dual drilled. So they're made for my truck. Um, this is my second set of hostels I've had. The finish on them is absolutely awesome. So when I had when I had the black method wheels, which they're great wheels too, they were more of a matte finish, and man, everything would stick to them. I had to ceramic coat them because you'd go through the car wash, you get water spots on them and stuff. These will be a little bit better because they're more of a satin finish. So I really love the look at the bumpers. Um, I think everybody's truck has a wheel that looks perfect on them and these are those wheels for my truck video and pictures just don't do them justice 
The stance is great. Like I said, they're a negative 19. I'm not a big offset guy. These are just enough for me. You can see they poke out just a little bit. Uh, here, let me straighten those front wheels. Hold on. So you can see they poke just a little bit. There's not too much stance to where they're throwing crap up on the side of the truck all the time. They do a little bit. And I've got a 35, 12, 50, 20 on there. So that's just aggressive enough of a stance for me with the factory flares and stuff. Uh, you know, I could have gone a 20 by 12 negative 44, but I like a little bit of sidewall bulge. You know, I do use the truck. It's solar camper, but, uh, you know, normally it's, it'll haul trailers every now and then. I don't mind getting it in the mud, you know, with hauling stuff with it whenever we have to for the house or whatever. So it's not really, I wouldn't call it a pavement princess. Just fine if that's what your thing is, but yeah, like I said, it's, uh, I'm happy with it. Wouldn't change anything. You know, I would have the tires shined up. I want to get some of that like permanent tire shine, the tire armor or whatever it is, but it's just been raining every day. Starting to feel like I live in Seattle or something. So I'll throw some pictures in here of the setup. Uh, Again, if you're looking for a wheel that's not as common as like a, a Brodo metal, a fuel, something like that, check out Hostel Wheels. I've had great luck with their finishes. Uh, you know, they're all single drilled for these trucks and they're just a real quality off-road wheel. And then they've got some, some more street appearance type wheels. So, you know, I've, I've had 17s and 35s, 17s and 37s. I really think a 20 inch wheel with a 35 inch tire on a truck that's lifted like mine is, is just about the sweet spot for me. It's all subjective. I mean, if you like 24s, cool. If you like 17s, cool. This is just what I like for my truck. So again, thanks everybody for subscribing. Um, I might film a little bit more on the way home. And like I said, we'll, we'll keep on keeping on. I have fun making these and I like showing off what I'm doing to the truck. And you know, I know it's, not a fifth gen it's not the newest stuff but I really like this truck i mean i plan on keeping it for a while it'll be three years old in july it's got twenty eight thousand miles on it it's been great for towing my camper towing my other trailer hauling the family around we've taken them road trips and stuff so hope you guys like uh, the videos so far if there's anything else you want to see just ask and i hope everyone stays healthy like i said i'll probably wrap this video up in the truck on the way home and uh yeah here let's check on let's check on my bit video making buddy too you like dad's new wheels you just chilling oh they're gonna think you're not wearing any clothes because you're wearing camo good old dad joke for you there so anyways i'm gonna take this little dude home and uh i guess i'll wrap this up on my way home I'm trying to think of what else i can say about the wheels i'm sure i'll think of something in the truck so yeah hope you guys are liking it and uh we'll catch y'all soon Got some of our Canadian friends here. Okay, take it easy. It's a beautiful day for video, eh? I don't know if they got maple syrup in there. These are like, what the hell is this guy talking about? So, real quick, I'll kind of show you. Um, I said I was going to wrap it up. I didn't. I hadn't really decided. So, we're going to film a little bit more here. Let me throw the seatbelt on. So, um, I get a lot of comments on these tires that the Mastercraft, the MXTs are cheap tires. They aren't expensive. I wouldn't really call them cheap. I'd call them inexpensive um, because I really like the quality of them so far. You can see the tread depth that I have left on them. I've had them for a few months. They've got a few thousand miles on them. They seem to have been wearing fine for an MT. Um, the only thing is, granted it's an MT, so they do hum a little bit. So I'll kind of show you how they hum, but they've, they've balanced real well. You know, I know a lot of fourth gen guys um, complain about the sorry, I make sure it's important. I'm just driving around talking to myself, which I've done. Um, I know a lot of the guys talk about, uh, or they have issues with vibrations in the fourth gens. I don't know what it is. To me, it always seems like a balancing issue because it's an aftermarket wheel that's a dual drilled. They aren't running a hub centric ring on, but I could be wrong. You know, I'm no tire and wheel expert. I have had, this is like my 12th setup or something on this truck, a bit of variation. I haven't had 12 sets of wheels, but between factory wheels and aftermarket wheels and different tires and stuff, it's kind of funny how many times you got to uh, mess with something or change something to get to where you really like it, but I digress. So 
we'll get down the road here and I'll get up to 45 or 50 and show you the tire noise again they're an MT they're gonna hum a little bit that doesn't really bother me because these are fairly quiet trucks you know I've got a quiet exhaust and stuff so um, never really been bothered by a little bit of tire noise I'm not gonna go out and run like a mud grab or something because those things sound like a freaking airplane so yeah here I'll uh, get up to speed and, and let you hear Anyways, I am going to go ahead and wrap this up. Again, my, I appreciate it. My family appreciates everybody, you know, subscribing and sharing. And this is a hobby for me. I'm not looking to, you know, be a Street Speed 717 or get all these cars or a, a Cletus or something. I mean, that'd be neat, maybe. But I do this for fun. It's just a hobby. You know, I still work, I, you know, work two jobs. I'm just a regular guy that I like modding trucks and making videos on them. So, yeah, if there's anything you want to see, um, just ask and I'll see what we can do. So hope you guys have a great week. Um, we're maskless here now. So I hope everybody's staying healthy. It's kind of nice being able to go into quick trip or Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever and feel like life's getting back to normal. So y'all take care and uh, I should have another video here in the next week or maybe less. I'm, I'm going to get something done to this today. It's something I can't do myself. I do everything I can myself, but tires and other things. I'm not going to give it away. I will pay somebody. So anyways, hope you all have a good day and we'll catch you on the next one.